what you're thinking right now you're thinking what is she wearing is that a guy shirt yes yes it is it is so cold in sydney right now i just want to be warm moisturize all the time my favorite one she transformation by ole henriksen i just have some purple on my lips just to keep them moisturized I'm going to use an eye primer to prime my eyes. This is the Locket Color Correcting Eyeshadow Primer by Kat Von D. This stuff is amazing. Your eyeshadow is not going to move all day. And it sets really quickly, so you want to make sure you blend it out quick. And that means do one eye at a time. So today's look, I'm going to use the Modern Renaissance Palette from Anastasia. Oh, I love the colors in this palette. So that's them there. Beautiful warm shades, torpy shades, browns. I love them. A mixture of matte and shimmer shades as well. So such a good palette. I'm going to go in with Tempera first with a Morphe brush, just a large fluffy brush. And I'm just going to blend that out all over the eyelid and up to the brow. With that same brush, I'm going to go in with raw sienna and just blend that out in the crease. Next, I'm just going to use golden ochre and the brush that the palette comes with and I'm just going to place that all over the lip. Then I'm taking Warm Talk from the palette and the other side of the brush and just going to create a bit more definition in the outer corner. Then lastly, I'm going to take Cyrus Umber and a angled brush and just run that along the upper lash line. This is just to add a bit more definition to the lash line. And we're just gonna blend that out with a 230 Zoeva Luxe Pencil Brush. So just taking my favorite lash curler and making sure my lashes are really, really curled. This is the S Curler from Shu Amura. And then I'm just going to give my lashes one coat of mascara and I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I'm going to use the Professional as my primer today. And for foundation, I'm using Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD Foundation. And this color is 140. But because I am a little bit tan, I'm going to use the Chromatic Mix. And this is number 15. So this is going to help my foundation look a little bit more darker and match to my skin. So that's it there. I actually think I need to add a bit of warmth so I'm going to add the red one and that will just add a bit of warmth to the mix and then I'm just going to use the beauty blender to really buff that in I'm going to use Benefit's Shy Beam to highlight today and this is pretty cool because it has a little paintbrush. You can just paint straight onto the skin. It also applies the right amount of product like you're not overly packing your skin with highlighter. I'm also going to use Benefit's Dandelion Dew to add a bit of colour to my cheeks. Next, I'm going to use a bit of High Beam by Benefit as well and just add that to the tops of the cheekbones. I'm just going to set the under eye with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Don't 
don't freak out I know it's a day look but I'm brushing off the excess this really just helps um, makeup last all day long trust me Okay, I'm going to contour now and I'm using Kevin Aquan's Sculpting Powder and I'm just using a powder brush from Sigma and we just lightly want to carve out those cheekbones. Also want to apply that to the forehead. I'm just taking a diffused crease brush from Sigma and the same powder and just going to contour my nose a tiny, slightly little bit just to give it a tiny bit of definition. While that's setting, we are just going to go in and do our brows with Brow Definer in Medium Brown by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Just going to brush those hairs up. So I'm just taking the tiniest bit of Shy Beam and a Real Techniques base shadow brush and I'm just going to clean up underneath my brows. This will also add a bit of a highlight as well and it also just helps it to look really clean and crisp. Can't go without this baby. It is Gimme Brow by Benefit. Always brush these through my brows. So next I'm just using the NARS Light Reflecting Press Powder to brush that translucent powder off. And I'm doing this with the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. See, I told you it wouldn't be heavy like that. Going back to my loved one, the Highlight 01 by Laura Mercier. Just using that same brush to highlight the face. Then going into this beautiful Kevin Aquan palette. This is called Capri in Cool Pink um, and an angled, large angled contour brush from Sigma. I'm just gonna pick up this bronzy pinky shade here in the middle of that bronzy pink shade. And I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks. Then to further bronze up my face, I'm using 03 Terracotta from Galan and that same brush we used to contour and I'm just going to bronze up the face. And that is my daytime look. So what you'll see next is how I transform this look into a nighttime look. So as you can see, this is my daytime look makeup and it's lasted pretty well, which I am pretty pleased with. The only thing that's sort of gone is my chin area, but I'm always like leaning on my chin. So yeah, this is my daytime look. I really don't know if the lighting's good in here. I have changed into the hotel robes. I love hotel robes and their little slippers. But yeah, I am gonna get ready now and do the nighttime look. I hope this turns out okay. I'm sure it will. Anyway, I just want to mention the products that I used in the shower because obviously I didn't want to um, wash my face off. I just wanted to wash my body. I used the Cold Cream Cleansing Gel by Avene. Really, really good for dry to very dry sensitive skin, which is great because I have a spray tan at the moment and also winter, it really dries out my skin. So that was good. And then I also use the Nourishing Body Lotion, which is for dry, sensitive skin. And it has just literally sunken into my skin. Beautiful stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a facial pad out of the Avene cute little container that I got. And I'm also just gonna take the Micellar Water. Just put that on the pad. I'm just gonna take off my lipstick.
as you can see oh my gosh i can't see myself in the mirror because the camera's there but that's just gone usually i'm like rubbing for ages but that's gone okay that was easy so i got my little container of brushes here this is the matte container i love this little is it called a canister love it it is so good um yeah it's really easy to help take your brushes around so that's that and i also bought the palette that i was using this morning so you can see how i transformed this eye to a nighttime eye with the same palette so i'm just going to take the warm talk shade and i'm taking this on a 221 soft crease brush from zoeva and i'm just gonna buff that into the crease as you can see, that has like already deepened that eye look. And if you remember from this morning, which you would, cause it was like a few minutes ago for you guys. For me, it was like a lifetime ago. I used this shade on my lid. So just look at the difference, how it just deepens up that crease. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Antique Bronze. And this is such a beautiful color. And I'm just taking a Morphe M433 brush. And this is going to go all over the lid. Wow, that's really nice. Can you guys see? I feel like the lighting's terrible in here. One sec. Let's see if that helps a little. I don't really know. Well, it's helping me see better, so I guess that's a good thing. Okay, so again, using that gorgeous antique bronze colour. And just patting that on the lid all the way up to that warm taupe shade we placed in the crease. I just want to lightly buff out warm taupe again on the lower lash line. Now, what else do you think is going to make this look daytime to nighttime? Lashes, of course. And these are the lower lashes. These are Lash in the City. So I'm just going to curl them together as I usually do with my Shu Amura S Curler. And then we just want to use the Real Mascara by Benefit just to stick them together. We have our Beauty Blender and Stromboli NARS All Day Luminous Glow. I'm just going to touch up areas that needs touching up. Obviously around the chin there you can see I lost a lot of coverage around the mouth too because obviously ate during the day. I'm also touching up the concealer. I'm using a heavier concealer and this is the Locket Tattoo um, Concealer by Kat Von D and this is medium 22. And I'm just going to dot that under the eyes where you can see there's a bit of darkness there. And I'm just going to use my mini beauty blender. This thing is so useful. Didn't think it would be but it is. Actually love it. Now I've got the set powder by MAC and I'm just going to set those areas. Baking again my friends. Just taking my NARS beach powder and just a tapered face brush. Just setting these areas now. I am using my Syrup Beauty palette with my favorite Luxe powder finish brush. And I'm just gonna contour my face. I love this contour powder, it's my fave. So that has been sitting on the face for a while now and I'm gonna use the Ambient Light Diffused Light Powder by um, Hourglass. And I use this with a Luxe Face Focus Brush and I just dust off the powder with it. It just leaves a gorgeous glow on the skin. I'm just gonna stand back, take a look. Okay. So I brought the Queen Highlighting Palette If you guys don't know, it's the Glow Kit in Sun Dipped by Anastasia. And I'm also, and I'm also using the A23 brush by Anastasia. What am I feeling tonight? I am a little bit more tanned, so I might go in with Moonstone. See how that goes. And it goes pretty good. Yep. I'm just going to take that glow on a Luxe Petite P 
pencil brush by Zoeva and I'm just gonna put it there and just blend out the outside with my fingers and I'm also gonna put some here I'm also just gonna apply that there in the corner of my eye I am gonna use my healthy glow powder by Givenchy just on my benefit brush benefit hula brush just swirl it in there and I just like to bronze after because it really connects the contour and the highlight together so it looks like it melts into one it doesn't you know separate or anything tonight I'm using a Lolita by Kathleen D I'm done with the makeup now and I'm going to use the Aveen Thermal Spring Water Spray and this will just help my makeup sink into the skin and look dewy and refreshed. Okay so I think I am ready for tonight. So this is how I transformed from a daytime look to a nighttime look. Obviously there were more steps needed because I had lost a bit of um, coverage in my foundation. I wanted a higher coverage because I am going to an event. So I did have to do the skin basically all over again. But yeah, I probably usually wouldn't. I probably would only change up the eye. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little sort of different tutorial going from day to night. And yeah, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next tutorial.